The head of the Forest Service says it's time to get aggressive. With huge wildfires breaking out across Colorado and New Mexico, it is urgent that we get our forests healthy again. And that means mass thinning and prescribed burns. Kim Baez explains. The fires aren't like they used to be. Years ago, 10,000 acres was considered big. Now, we're seeing fires like the 300,000 acre Whitewater Baldy. The damage it's done could take a century to fix. Where you see these pinks and reds, those are the severe, where it's extremely severe. And then there's the Little Bear Fire that devoured 224 homes. I think we're finding ourselves in a, a pretty contentious circumstance in the West. Corbin Newman, the regional forester, says the Forest Service has always worked to prevent these huge fires with thinning and prescribed burns. But the mass thinning projects faded following the timber wars, where the public fought to shut down the huge logging camps. But now I think folks are realizing making that go away created a condition that has results none of us want. Yesterday, Tom Tidwell, the Forest Service chief, announced that he wants to accelerate restoration programs at least 20% a year. This year's target, 4 million acres. That won't mean clear cutting forests. It means thinning of huge areas at a time using machines and prescribed burns. Three areas in New Mexico are already being targeted. It lays here on the Jemez Ranger District. The Southwest Jemez Project will cover 210,000 acres. There will be another 210,000 acres in the Zuni Mountains. And the other big project, 290,000 acres in the Sacramento, south of Cloudcroft. And there are dozens of other smaller projects in the plants. The key here will be doing it responsibly. So we have all of our environmental groups, uh, conservation group, industry groups, community groups, all in these large collaborators around these projects come into agreement about what we're going to do. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. The cost of thinning forests is very high. The four million acres slated for this year will cost a billion dollars. The U.S. Forest Service says it is looking at creating an industry that can make goods from that wood so the companies might do the work for free, but the Forest Service would limit how many trees they can cut down.